Hey, Luke here, Fitness here. Welcome back to another weights workout. Today, what we're going to do is five exercises, but at the end, the two exercises at the end, we're going to do a superset, okay? So that's where you do the exercises back to back without any rest. The first exercise we're going to go through is a forward lunge curl and press. So, to demonstrate that for you, literally, you're going to lunge forwards, you're then going to curl, and then you're going to press, and then back, okay? And then change legs each time. The second exercise we're going to do is plank rows. Now plank rows, are um, you're in the plank position, dumbbells like so, and I'll turn the arms up and down for 30 seconds. All right, after that, what we're then going to do is a reverse lunge and curl. So all you're going to do, keep the weight in the front leg, you're going to step back, bend down, curl the arms, and then back up. And then to finish off with, we're going to do our superset. So our superset is bicep curls and tricep kickbacks. So we're going to curl the arms up for 30 seconds, like so, and when the 30 seconds is gone, we're gonna lean over, stick the bum out, and then straighten those arms, and go for the back of the arms. All right, and we're gonna do four rounds of that. So, it's always four rounds of each exercise. We're doing 30 on, 30 off, apart from the last exercise, where we do both exercises back to back, so it's gonna be four minutes worth of exercise with 30 seconds rest. I'm gonna get the hoodie off, because I'm getting warm already. Right. And then in three, two, one, let's go and curl. So, reverse lunge, curl. Good, that's five seconds left. We've got two more each side. And relax there. Now, hand position wise, when people curl the dumbbells, they always go, should I twist curl them, should I keep them like this whole time? Or should I have them like a hand position? Any position you want, really. It does work different parts of the bicep, but not too, um, for example, in detail. So just curl them how you feel comfortable. If you feel comfortable like that, great. If you want to twist them over, Twist them over, it's entirely up to you, all right? As long as you're counting the weights, that's amazing. Right, five more seconds. And we're next to the next round. Three, two, one, and let's go. And rest there, that's round two done. Right, two more rounds left. Now, I know I said an intro, lunge curl and press, plank rows and reverse curl, reverse lunge and curl. However, I just have reverse um, lunge and curl first, so a plank row, and then we will lunge, curl and press on exercise number three, and then finish off with a superset. It doesn't matter what order you do the exercise in at all, it's just about getting the intensity up, lifting a weight that feels challenging for you and pushing yourself. We've got another three seconds. I'm gonna go this way this time. And let's go. Good, we've got 10 seconds left. And rest there. It's round three done. One more round left. So remember with weight wise, get my breath back. You want to pick an exercise, or sorry, weight that feels challenging to you, okay? So at the moment, if I'm reverse lunge, I'm curling, I want to make sure my thighs are burning, my legs are working, and my arms are working. If I don't feel that, I need to increase the weight and make it harder. Hence why adjustable dumbbells are really important because you can progress the weight as you get stronger and fitter. Five more seconds. And let's go. Good. 
Last one. And relax there. Right, next exercise we're going on to is the plank rows. So, remember in that plank position. Now you can do this on your knees if you want to. However, you want to ideally try and do it on your feet if you can, all right? Makes it far more challenging. But like I said, if you struggle when you're on your feet, you can drop down to your knees and finish off on your knees. Let's get a timer ready. Good, five more seconds. And three, two, one, let's go. Plank row time. So remember, really pull those back muscles, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Imagine you're storing wood and that's the action you're going for. And relax there. Now some people say that their, um, for example, their wrists hurt holding onto the dumbbells. What you can do is that means you can hold onto one dumbbell, like so, and have one hand on the floor, and then pull up if you want to. And then obviously then you do two rounds on each side, or when you get to halfway, you can change the dumbbells, completely up to you. So go what feels comfortable to you. The more you hold the dumbbells, the better you will get, and they'll become less uncomfortable on your wrists, all right? Right. Three, two, one, and let's go. Good, try and stop those hips from moving, and relax there. Now, when you lift the weight up, what you will find is your hips will twizzle a little bit, so what you, want to what you want to think of, take your legs wider apart. The wider you take your legs, the bigger the surface area, right? So the less twizzle you're going to have in your hips. So what you want to do, have your legs nice and wide apart, nice strong base, so we pull up, we're strong here. If we have our feet too close together, what's going to happen is, we're going to rotate a lot from the hips. That's not what we want. We're going to keep the base nice and strong, keep the hips strong, and then pull, so we're all working from here. Right, 10 more seconds, let's drop down. And three, two, one, let's go. And relax there. Right, one more round left. So a big deep breath in for the nose, out for the mouth. Now, if you don't feel this exercise challenging enough, remember, increase the weight, okay? Increase the weight, increase the weight. Now with the hit session, what we're doing is we increase the intensity by increasing the speed, the amount we do. With the weight exercises, each week what we're trying to do is progress the weight. So you need adjustable dumbbells, you need to be doing, say for example, Four kilo shoulder press to start off with, and as you get stronger, you go five kilo shoulder press, six kilo shoulder press, and you gradually progress and improve. The whole idea is about progressing, okay? Getting stronger. Three, two, one, let's go. And rest there. Right, now we're into our forward lunge curl and press, all right? So, let's have 30 seconds rest. Now remember, lunges are challenging, so if you find you're not strong enough to do a full lunge, what you can do, you can just do a step instead. So a step would just be where you should step forwards, like so, partial bend, curl and press. However, 
The lower you lunge, the harder you're going to work, the more calories you're going to burn, and the more lean muscle you're going to build, right? And lean muscle is great for fat burning. Right, let's check this timer out, see how we're going on. Right, five seconds left, everyone. Three, two, one, and let's go. So we're going to lunge forwards, we're going to curl, we're going to press, good. And rest there. Right, that's 30 seconds up, good. So we've got the three rounds left of that. Big, big deep breaths in. Remember, same again, if balance isn't great, like with the planks, the plank rows, what you can do is you can take your step out further or wider apart. So you've got your step here. If you're stepping like so, what's gonna happen is you're quite narrow. Balancing will be great. So if your balance isn't great, take your leg wider apart. The wider you take your leg, the more balance you're gonna have, easy exercise becomes. Three, two, one, round two, let's go. And rest there. I think we're slightly over then. Right, that was round two. We got two more rounds left. I think we went over about five seconds. That's because my watch was vibrating. Normally, when watch vibrates, I know exactly when to stop. Let's go look at the clock. So, nice big deep breath in. We've got two more rounds on this left, and then we've got a superset afterwards, and then we're done. Right, five more seconds. Let's change. Let's go this way this time. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, and relax there. Right, that's round three done. We've got one more round left. Let's get his legs a bit of a shake off. Right then, three. Two, one, last round, let's go. Good, last five seconds. Let's get one more in. And rest there. Good stuff, right. Let's move on. Last exercise we're going for is bicep curls, tricep kickback supersets. We're going to do 30 seconds bicep curls, 30 seconds bend over, tricep kickbacks with 30 seconds rest. Four rounds and we're done. Lots and lots of biceps today. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, last few seconds. 
Ah, now we're gonna lean over and stretch the arms. Halfway. Last one. And rest there. Right, that's just 30 seconds of rest now. Three more rounds and we're done, all right? Kids arms are going to shake out. So the tricep kickbacks, the biceps will bicep curls in the name, working the front of the arm biceps, and the tricep kickbacks working the back of the arms. That's the kind of hard to reach bit. I mean, I prefer personally working dips. I find dips builds a lot of muscle, um, a lot of lean muscle, because obviously you're working, pushing more weight for that area. But tricep kickbacks kind of sculpts the area. And in three, two, one, we're back in with the bicep curls. And let's go straight to the tricep kickbacks. In three, two, one, let's go. Good, last five seconds. Four. Three, two, one, and relax there. Right, two more rounds left. Let's set our timer. Good. So by now you should be feeling your biceps working, back of your arms working as well. You feel a bit of a burn in the area, all right? Okay, the arms can shake out. And remember again, if the weight's not challenging enough, say for example you can curl more doing biceps, curl more doing biceps, and then decrease the weight for the triceps, all right? Don't do the same weight if you don't have to. If you feel stronger, do more weight. Push yourself harder, all right? Let's see what time we're on. We've got five seconds left. So let's pick those dumbbells up again. And in three, two, one, let's go. Good, we've got last 15 seconds. This is round number three, so let's try and push it on a little bit more. Three, two, one, and we're we'll straight to the triceps, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Try and keep the back as straight as you can. Remember, if you're feeling lower back pain, stop straight away. You can tricep dip instead. And rest there. Right, shake those arms out. We've got one more round left. And then we're done, workout over, right? Then we're gonna do a cool, good cool down. However, if you've got 10 minutes spare, you've got 15 minutes spare, you can for the ab workout instead. Right, we've got another 10 seconds. Let's set the timer. And in three, two, one, let's go. Remember, elbows tucked in, nice and tight. Just bend it up and down with the elbows. Keep the elbows in really tight to your body. Good. One more left. Ah, relax there. We are straight into the tricep extensions in three, two, one, let's go. Good. 
Last five. Good. And relax there. Right, that is the weights workout done. So, hope you found it challenging. I hope you found the muscles burning. If you didn't find the muscles burning at all, the next time you do it, increase the weight and push your body that little bit harder, all right? So remember, you've got to keep increasing that weight, keep pushing those boundaries. The only way you're going to progress is by lifting more weight with good form and technique. Make sure you do an ab workout afterwards or if you haven't got time for an ab workout, make sure you do a cool down, all right? And I will see you next week for another weights workout.